Tonight, there is new hope in the fight against COVID-19 and local doctors are leading the way. Reporter Jacqueline Coleman tells us how this could be a game changer and how those who have recovered from the virus can help. Doctors are trying a new path to save lives. Yes, this is a very big deal. When we first started this, like I said, we didn't have any treatments. And our hope was is that this would be an active treatment. It's a treatment called convalescent plasma, but not just any plasma. It has to come from a patient who survived coronavirus, has been better for 28 days, now tests negative and has a compatible blood type. The plasma is used to treat hospitalized patients with severe or life-threatening COVID-19 infections. Plasma is the liquid component of our blood. And in patients that have recovered from COVID-19, they have antibodies, which are proteins that kill the virus in patients that have the uh, that have active COVID-19. Hattiesburg Clinic and Forest General are participating in the COVID-19 Expanded Access Program, a clinical trial organized by the Mayo Clinic. So we take the plasma or the liquid blood out of somebody who's recovered, and then we give it to a patient who's very sick with the hopes that it will kill the virus in their body and help them recover. Doctors are currently looking for donors who have recovered from the virus. He says there's a critical shortage of plasma, and right now they're using all blood types, but B is needed most. One donation is typically good for four patients to be treated. So in theory, one donation could save four people's lives. Now, at Forest General Hospital, as of today, we have infused 92 patients uh, with convalescent plasma successfully. Dr. John Haram says plasma has been used for hundreds of years to treat viruses like the Spanish flu, and doctors hope this trial will be successful in treating patients. It's an experimental protocol, so patients uh, are consented to this, and they're, uh, they're uh, given um, notification of what the uh, dangers and the risk of the trial could be. If you qualify for the trial and want to help save a life, you can visit HattiesburgClinic.com. In Hattiesburg, I'm Jacqueline Coleman.